Hello. So here I'm going to show you some examples of Grignia reagents with certain organic molecules. Which molecule should I look at? Hmm. Let's use ester. Okay. So ester has its functional group R, C, double bond O, CO single bond. Let me call it R prime. This carbon here of the carbonyl group is electron deficient because of the strain of the two oxygen that's next to it, electronegative that pull electron cloud at density away from this carbon. So if I'm going to throw in a Grignard reagent, so let's say CH3 MGBR. What happens is this CH3 will attack this carbon, break the pi bond, which is the weakest bond here. But the thing is, it will reform a pi bond and then kick out this OR. Because OR here can be a leaving group. It can leave the whole molecule. So after this step, what you have here is a CO double bond and CH3 here. But mind you, in the reaction, it doesn't mean that one of it will finish reacting with all of these first and stay here. And we know that we cannot isolate one molecule of Grignard reagent to react with just one molecule of the ester. We have a um, few milligrams or even milliliter. There's many, many millions, thousands of molecules of each of them. Which means that some of this could react with the product that it has formed. And continue to make the alcohol in this case. And you know, this is a tertiary alcohol. So how do we prevent um, this molecule from not forming? Okay. We can't. So we have to add excess of the Grignard reagent so that all the resultant ester will be converted to a tertiary alcohol and we have nothing here, so our reaction is complete. You might be asking, what happened to this RO minus? At this step, we put water there. So the RO minus, which is the alkoxide, can be protonated by the water. So the byproduct here is your alcohol. R prime, coming from here. Now let's try this example. Let me just give you a cyclic ester. See? Cyclic ester. We call it a lactone. Here, if I spam two times of um, CH3, CH2, MGBR, followed by water, what do we have? Likewise, we know that step one, you will attack this carbonyl group you cut off this bond and you would have O minus and the E tau group here will join. Let me just put E T. E tau group will join. And then the next step, more of this Grignard reagent will attack this carbonyl group. Push it up. So this part become OH and alcohol. The same carbon, you see two identical ethyl groups emerging out. The other chain remains the same. And finally, after the water, you protonate this O minus group to form OH. Which means eventually you have a single molecule with two alcohol. One is a tertiary alcohol. The other one is a primary alcohol. Just one fragment because you begin with a cyclic ester.